If you're thinking of buying a Mac Mini, then this hub could save you some money. Let's find out how much. The Satishi USB hub for the M1 Mac Mini is a port provider that sits under your Mini. It matches the Mini so well, my wife hasn't even realized it's a hub yet. Guess I don't get to tell her how much money it saved us. It even has a matching LED. Now there are a lot of hubs like this available with different port configurations. And with the Satishi you get full size SD card reader and a micro SD card reader. They're only UHS-1 so they're not lightning fast but they have almost the same transfer speed as my external card reader and I don't have to fiddle around the back. Headphone jack. I use wired headphones when editing, so a godsend to have at the front. Three USB Type A's. I use them for thumb drives and wireless transmitters for my Logitech mouse. One USB-C that I don't really use. I've seen people using these for charging devices, but Satishi says you shouldn't, so I don't. The USB-C doesn't support power delivery or video transfer, so no display through that port. All USB ports are rated for up to 5 gigabits per second. To use all of these ports, you have to give up one of your Mini's USB-C ports on the back, thereby losing a theoretical 35 gigabit per second transfer speed. The Satishi hub has one more trick up its sleeve, an internal fanless SSD enclosure. Now this is where we can save some money by buying another thing. Counterintuitive, but stick with me. Now installation of the SSD is easy peasy. They even include a tiny screwdriver. When installed, you go into disk utility, format the drive and presto. The Satoshi only accepts M.2 SATA drives and not the faster NVMe drives. So the read and write speed is around 350 megabits per second, depending on what drive you get. Satoshi has a list of compatible drives complete with transfer speeds on their website, link down in the description. I keep my internal drive clean, using it only for software installations. Everything else, videos, photos, whatnot, is on the Satoshi drive. So the hub works well, but when do we get to the money part? Okay, let's get to it. So, the Satoshi Hub is $100 and the Western Digital Blue 1TB drive is another $100. With a base mini that's $200 for a total of 1.2TB. If you want to upgrade the internal storage on your mini, 1TB is $400. And you're still 256 gigs short. So getting the Satoshi instead saves you $200, gets you 1.2 terabytes of storage and some front facing ports. Plus you can upgrade the Satoshi drive further down the line if you need to, they come in up to 2 gigs. And if you absolutely have to spend the extra $200 you saved, then get 16 gigs of RAM. Now the Satoshi drive is not as fast as an internal drive would be, but I edit 4K footage in Final Cut from the drive daily and I haven't had any problems with the speeds with the codecs I use. So what about negatives? There have been two times when an SD card didn't show up and on one occasion the SSD itself didn't show up. Both problems were solved with a reboot. Now in my experience, that is within the margin of strange errors with peripherals like external drives and card readers. Another thing is I wish the USB-C cable would be positioned right under the USB-C port. And the slightly added height passed me a little word about added downward pressure on the rear ports. Then again, crossing the cable a bit only bothered me when I inserted it and placing an object between the cords and the desk takes care of that problem. The Satoshi Hub is sleek, practical and makes your Mini look like a pro version. You get external, upgradable storage without losing any disk real estate. It's reliable, silent and just overall great value for your money. Now compared to an external SSD, you lose portability, but the Mini is not a laptop so maybe you're not looking for portability. And hey, if you want to turn it into a portable drive later, just buy an SSD enclosure. Until next time.